Solo Board Gaming Night here, and today I'm going to start saying goodbye. Now, I'm still going to be making a lot of videos and sharing them with you all, but I'm going to be saying goodbye to this place, this game table that I've been playing in this wonderful place that I've been living for the past several years. It's about time that I'm going to be moving on to new adventures, a new chapter in my life. And this feeling brings both excitement and happiness, but also kind of a sad feeling of saying goodbye to past memories. And I want to share a story with you all tonight. My adventure into the board gaming hobby actually started during the pandemic. And I know it was a really hard time for each and every one of us. But to be honest, when I lost my grandmother, it was one of the most difficult things that I had ever gone through. I had never felt so much pain and sorrow in my life up until that moment. My mind kept playing that moment of her passing over and over in my head and it was kind of really tormenting me. And I knew it wasn't good for me. I had to do something about it. But deep down inside, I knew that my grandmother wouldn't have wanted me to be that way. She would have wanted me to be happy. So I decided to do something that I actually had my eye on for a while. I wanted to get into board games and specifically, I wanted to play Clue. So I went to look for Clue. I just never was able to find it. Before that, I was a real big video gamer. I mean, ever since the Atari 2600, I just never really stopped playing from Pac-Man to Punch-Out, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Contra, Back to the Future. The list goes on and on. I mean, even till this day, I still have a PS5. But I wanted to get my kids away from Fortnite. And since I couldn't find Clue, I was like, well, let me try to find something that would call their attention. And I ended up running into a little game called Funkoverse. And to be honest, that was the game that started it all. Before that, I didn't think that there was anything more to board games other than spinning some dial, rolling some dice, and just going around some board. The strategy and the complexity that was involved was instantly addicting to me. I just absolutely fell in love with it i i compare it to what books are to movies you know how they books are usually almost better than the movies that's what i started feeling as crazy as it sounds i feel like so many times board games are better than video games and mainly because i never have the opportunity to shut my brain down I have to constantly be thinking about what the next move, what I'm going to do, what's going to happen next. It's that constant involvement that really just resonates with me. And it really made these last few years in this house just, I know it's going to sound cheesy, but magical. It's like my grandmother's final gift to me. Everything just culminated to this moment in my life that somehow led me down this path that ended up introducing me to board games and I am so incredibly happy that I have been able to experience all these amazing board game adventures. And to be honest, I love absolutely everything about it. I mean, even when I was a little kid, I used to love making puzzles. I. I remember I was about four years old when I made my first 500 piece puzzle and completed it. It was these little white puppies in a basket in a, like a picnic area. It, it, it's something that just I used to like ever since I was young. And when I'm playing a board game, it's like that moment from the moment that you open the box to start reading the actual rule book, it's like you're starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And little by little, as you learn the game more, you start seeing the bigger picture. And at the end of the day, once you're completely done with the puzzle that's learning how to read the rule book, you end up being left with an amazing and satisfying experience. Now, not all of them are winners, but 
since I do a lot of research, like I know you all do as well, I try to fill my shelves with games I'm interested in, and I've absolutely enjoyed almost every single board game experience that I have ever played. A lot of it's due to all those top 10 lists that I've watched throughout the, the years, but I've also learned how to like the games that I like, if that makes sense. Like, I, I know what I like, and that's what I usually look for, and that's usually what I make videos on. And ultimately, I end up sharing it with each and every one of you. And I've had a blast doing it. But now, with all that said and done, there's a new chapter in my life. And I'm going to leave this place. Along with it, I'm going to leave a lot of good memories, a lot of sad memories, a lot of difficult memories. To be honest, all those things is what made me who I am today. And... I'm grateful for that. To be honest, I kind of have my grandmother to thank for that. And like I said, I feel like this is the final gift that she left me. And although I'm not going to be at the same game table playing in the same place, I know that I'm going to find a lot of great adventures in the future. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of great board games with each and every one of you. This was Solo Board Game Night. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I hope you all have a great game night. Take care, Solo Knights.